All right, so right here we have the Integra DHC 80.2. This is a spectacular, spectacular machine based on what I've read about the spec so far. I cannot wait to add it to the system. So this is going to be an unboxing, if that's even the right word to use. It should be an untanking. This thing is as big as a tank. this instructions no say so okay first the crap that nobody's gonna need no I'm not gonna use an antenna and no I'm not gonna use a supply remote the manual nah not really okay toss once again not a fan of device remotes because I use the Harmony 1100 remote which takes care of pretty much everything. Power cable. I'll definitely need this if I want some power. Hello, say hi. Meow, 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 meow. Alright. Give me a second because I have to take this actual beast out of the package and I need to answer that. So hold on. I'll be back in three, two, one. Alright. So I somehow managed to get this monster out of this also equally as monstrous package. Let's go ahead and take this off and see what's going on. What's going on under the hood? Okay. Front panel. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, here we go. There's the front panel. These buttons. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rear panel. I'm gonna go into much more detail with this later on. All right, here's a better look at the rear panel of the Integra DHC 80.2. If you just take a look, the connectivity is ridiculously <laughs> comprehensive for a processor under three thousand dollars I mean the MSRP is about twenty four hundred you can't get better you just you can't get better seven HDMI inputs seven HDMI inputs on the rear there's one in the front you have two HDMI outs both are capable of carrying audio and video to two different monitors PC in here's the gems right here that balance XLR outputs these send the data to the amp now yeah you have the option to use RCA as well but XLR which is the balanced if you have the option definitely go for it um, the the difference isn't mind-blowing but it's noticeable so definitely shoot for that and I'll show you what I mean in two seconds all right so this is the this is an example of a high quality XLR balanced cable or balanced in interconnect. This goes into the ports that I just showed you on the Integra. The other end goes into the XLR input with the amp down there. So you see I have a number of these. I have this rack pre-wired waiting for the Integra to come. So everything else is ready, you know. I have the Xbox 360, the PS3, the Apple TV, the, the computer, you know, the projectors up here. This is the Oppo BDP 93, you know, the Panamax, the AV 5300, power conditioner, Emotiva XPA 5 amp. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. And so, let me go ahead and add this to the rack now. Alright, there we have it. It's all ready. In the rack and ready to go. The Integra DAC 80.2. Let's take a look at the front here. I have to say, it's an impressive, it's an impressive looking machine. Front, back, you know, the HDMI cables are in there. The audio cables, the dual subwoofers. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do another video showing the whole updated theater. Is there some new gear? So stay tuned.
Well, hello, sir. May I ask you what you're doing in the box? Kind sir? Never pay me any attention. Fine, then. Be like that. <laughs> I'm telling my mommy. <laughs>